Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about chikungunya virus, a mosquito-borne disease that is becoming increasingly prevalent in many parts of the world. In this video, we will discuss the causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment and prevention of chikungunya virus. What is chikungunya? Chikungunya is a viral disease transmitted to humans through the bite of infected Aedes mosquitoes. History of Chikungunya Chikungunya virus was first identified in Tanzania in 1952 during an outbreak of a disease that caused fever, severe joint pain, and rash. The name, chikungunya, comes from the Makande language of Tanzania, meaning, that which bends up, referring to the stooped posture of patients due to joint pain. The virus spread to other parts of Africa and Asia, causing sporadic outbreaks. In the 2000s, chikungunya virus began to cause larger and more widespread outbreaks, leading to its designation as a global health concern. Major outbreaks occurred in India in 2006, in the Indian Ocean Islands in 2005-2006, and in the Caribbean in 2013-2014. Today, chikungunya virus is considered an emerging infectious disease with the potential to cause significant morbidity and mortality, particularly in vulnerable populations such as the elderly and those with underlying medical conditions. About chikungunya virus. Chikungunya virus belongs to the alphavirus genus of the Tagovaridae family of viruses. It is a small, spherical virus that measures approximately 60 nanometers in diameter. The virus has a lipid envelope that is studded with glycoprotein spikes, which give it a characteristic appearance when viewed under an electron microscope. The chikungunya virus genome is a single-stranded RNA molecule that encodes for four non-structural proteins and five structural proteins. The chikungunya virus structure plays an important role in its ability to infect and replicate within host cells. The glycoprotein spikes on the virus surface allow it to recognize and bind to specific receptors on the surface of host cells, leading to virus entry and replication. How Chikungunya Virus Transmits Chikungunya virus is primarily transmitted to humans by infected mosquitoes, primarily Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. When a mosquito feeds on a person infected with chikungunya virus, the virus replicates within the mosquito's body and can be transmitted to other people through subsequent mosquito bites. The virus can also be transmitted from mother to baby during pregnancy, during childbirth, or through breastfeeding. There have been rare reports of transmission through blood transfusion, organ transplantation, and laboratory exposure. It is important to note that chikungunya virus is not transmitted through casual contact with infected individuals or through respiratory droplets. Pathogenicity of chikungunya virus. The pathogenicity of the chikungunya virus is the ability of the virus to cause disease in a host organism. The virus enters the human body through the bite of an infected mosquito and replicates in the skin cells at the site of the bite. From there, it spreads to other tissues and organs in the body, including the liver, spleen, and lymph nodes. One of the key features of chikungunya virus pathogenicity is its ability to cause inflammation in the joints. The virus targets synovial fibroblasts, which are cells that line the joints, causing them to release cytokines and chemokines that promote inflammation. This leads to the hallmark symptom of chikungunya infection, which is severe joint pain. Pathogenicity of chikungunya virus is due to its ability to replicate and spread throughout the body, causing inflammation in the joints and other tissues, and leading to a range of symptoms that can be mild to severe. Symptoms of chikungunya the symptoms of chikungunya typically begin three to seven days after being bitten by an infected mosquito and can last for several weeks. The most common symptoms of chikungunya virus include 1. Fever. A sudden high fever, typically over 102 degrees Fahrenheit, is one of the most common symptoms of chikungunya. 1. The fever usually lasts for two to three days but can persist for up to a week. 2. Joint pain. Joint pain also known as arthralgia, is another hallmark symptom of chikungunya. 2. The pain is typically bilateral and affects multiple joints, including the hands, wrists, elbows, shoulders, knees, ankles, and feet. 2. The pain can be severe and can last for months to years after the initial infection. 3. Headache. Many people with chikungunya virus also experience headaches. 3. The headaches are typically bilateral and can range from mild to severe. 4. Rash. A rash is a common symptom of chikungunya virus. 4. The rash typically appears 2 to 3 days after the onset of fever and is characterized by red, flat or raised spots on the skin. 4. The rash can be itchy and can spread to other parts of the body. 5. Muscle pain. Muscle pain, also known as myalgia, is another common symptom of chikungunya. 5. 
The pain can be severe and can affect multiple muscle groups throughout the body. 6. Fatigue. Many people with chikungunya virus experience fatigue, which can be severe and last for several weeks after the initial infection. 7. In rare cases, it can lead to severe complications, such as encephalitis, which is inflammation of the brain, or myocarditis, which is inflammation of the heart. How to diagnose chikungunya virus? Diagnosing chikungunya virus infection is important for patient care, public health surveillance, and disease control efforts. Anyone with symptoms of chikungunya virus infection should seek medical attention and undergo diagnostic testing, which include 1. Polymerase chain reaction PCR, test. This test detects the presence of viral genetic material in a blood sample. 1. PCR tests can be used to diagnose chikungunya virus infection in the early stages of the illness when viral RNA is present in the blood. 2. Serological tests. These tests detect the presence of antibodies to chikungunya virus in the blood. 2. Serological tests can be used to diagnose both acute and past infections with chikungunya virus. 3. Viral isolation. This test involves culturing the virus from a blood sample in a laboratory. 3. Viral isolation is a more complex and time-consuming test than PCR or serological tests and is typically reserved for research purposes. Treatment of chikungunya. Currently, there is no specific treatment or vaccine available for chikungunya virus infection. Treatment is generally focused on relieving the symptoms of the illness, such as fever and joint pain, and preventing complications. Because chikungunya virus infection is caused by a virus, antibiotics are not effective in treating the illness. In severe cases, hospitalization may be necessary to manage complications such as dehydration, neurological symptoms, or severe joint pain. How to prevent chikungunya? Preventing mosquito bites is the most effective way to prevent chikungunya virus infection. Here are some steps you can take to prevent chikungunya. 1. Wear protective clothing. When you are outdoors, wear long-sleeved shirts and pants to cover your skin and reduce the risk of mosquito bites. 2. Use insect repellent. Apply insect repellent to your exposed skin, especially during the daytime when Aedes mosquitoes are most active. 2. Look for insect repellents containing DEET, picaridin, or oil of lemon eucalyptus. 3. Eliminate mosquito breeding sites. Mosquitoes breed in standing water, so eliminate any standing water around your home, including in flower pots, buckets, and other containers. 3. Change the water in outdoor pet dishes and bird baths regularly. 4. Use mosquito netting. Use mosquito netting over your bed, especially if you are sleeping during the daytime when Aedes mosquitoes are most active. 5. Stay indoors during peak mosquito activity. Aedes mosquitoes are most active during the daytime, so staying indoors during peak mosquito activity times can reduce the risk of mosquito bites. 6. Travel with caution. If you are traveling to areas where chikungunya virus is circulating, take precautions such as wearing protective clothing, using insect repellent, and staying indoors during peak mosquito activity times to reduce the risk of mosquito bites. Conclusion. In conclusion, chikungunya virus is a mosquito-borne disease that can cause significant discomfort and pain. It is important to take measures to prevent mosquito bites to avoid contracting the virus. If you suspect you have chikungunya virus, it is important to seek medical attention and get tested. Thank you for watching and stay safe.